what's up everyone so in this video i'll tell you guys that how you can install ecg and blood pressure on your galaxy watch 4 just using your smartphone the process is kind of simple so make sure you follow all these steps in order to have a successful installation first of all we have to make some changes on our watch go to settings now scroll down and tap on about watch here select software and tap multiple times on software version this will turn on the developer mode on your watch now you have to go back and choose connections here just turn off the bluetooth and turn on wi-fi also make sure you connect to the same wi-fi network to which your phone is connected after that go back to developer options and here you have to turn on ADB debugging as well as debug over Wi-Fi. Once again go back to the main menu of settings and then again tap on developer options. Now you will see an IP address in debug over Wi-Fi section. Just note it down. Coming onto your phone, you have to download two applications. Their link is down in the description and once again thanks to Dante for the files. Just download these files. One is modified Samsung health monitor application which has to be installed on your phone. And the other one is modified SHM app for the Galaxy Watch 4 that has to be installed on watch. First we will install modified SHM app on our phone. And then in order to install that Watch 4 SHM APK, you have to install another application from the Play Store. Its link is also down in the description. After installing this bug jacker application, open it up. And now you will see this type of interface. Here tap on this icon on the top right side and enter the IP address that you have noted down from your watch. You will see a prompt message on your watch when you will tap on connect. Just tap on always allow from this computer. Now you have connected your phone to your watch. For the next step, see this plus icon at the top. Just tap on it and select the APK or application from the download folder that you have downloaded for the watch. Once again the file name will be with watch 4 SHM. So make sure you only install that file. It will install the file and after a few seconds you will see SHM app on your watch that you can finally use without any restriction. Once again we have to make some changes on our watch. For this you have to go into settings. Now scroll down and tap on developer options. And turn off debug over Wi-Fi and ADB debugging. Now you can also go into connections and turn off Wi-Fi and turn on the Bluetooth. This step is important because not turning off ADB debugging can drain battery life of your watch. This method is fully working with a Samsung Galaxy based phone. You can also try with the non-Samsung phone as well. Also a small reminder that these health features are just for your personal information. Never use them for diagnostic purpose. And if you're not feeling well, just consult your doctor and never change medications based on these readings. Calibrate the watch with a real cuff based BP apparatus. You may see two SHM apps on your Galaxy watch. In that case, just use the one which has a little logo on it. New SHM versions will be updated here on this channel as well as on the website. So make sure you subscribe and turn on notifications. With that being said, I'll catch you guys in the next one. Until then, bye bye.